And they're off. The first 10 Democrats looking to win the White House, saving some of their sharpest jabs for the man they want to defeat. The biggest threat to the security of the United States is Donald Trump. And there's no question. I don't think All we right. should conduct foreign policy in our bathrobe at 5 Con in the Congress morning. On January 20th, 2021, we'll say adios to Donald Trump. The debate strikingly substantive on progressive plans to overhaul the economy. When you've got an economy that does great for those with money and isn't doing great for everyone else, that is corruption, pure and simple. We need to call it out. We need to attack it head on. It's about time that we have an economy that works for everybody, not just the wealthiest in our nation. On health care, two candidates, Senator Elizabeth Warren and New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio, coming out in favor of eliminating private insurance, in favor of a Medicare for all system. On immigration, the contenders reacting to the searing photo of a father and his young daughter lying dead as they try to enter the U.S. Watching that image of, of Oscar and his daughter Valeria uh, is heartbreaking. It should also piss us all off. The sharpest exchange between two Texans, former Housing Secretary Julian Castro and former Congressman Beto O'Rourke, over whether to decriminalize illegal border crossings. I helped to introduce legislation that would ensure that we don't criminalize those who are seeking asylum and refuge I'm in this country. If you're about, fleeing, if you're fleeing the desperation, asylum, then I'm I want to make about, sure, I'm I want to make sure that you're treated else. with respect. I'm still talking about everybody but, else. But O'Rourke and Senator Cory Booker at times speaking Spanish to emphasize the importance of Latino voters. Cada persona en el éxito de esta economía es de presidente ha atacado. The debate also marking the first in history with more than one woman on the presidential stage. I just want to say there's three women up here that have fought pretty hard for a woman's right to choose. I'll start. The candidates arguing for strict new gun laws. We can't treat this as an across the board problem. We have to treat it like a public health emergency. Senate. And pushing for an aggressive approach to combat climate change. Look at Donald Trump is simply wrong. He says wind turbines cause cancer. We know they cause jobs. All of the contenders asked what they view as the greatest geopolitical threat to the U.S. Our existential threat is climate change. We have to confront it before it's too late. Climate change. Yeah. Nuclear proliferation and climate change. China and climate change. Russia, because they're trying to undermine our democracy, and they've been doing a pretty damn good job of it. During a night heavy on policy with some technical interruptions, at least one viewer was unimpressed. President Trump aboard Air Force One tweeting, boring.